In other news, Jair Bolsonaro, a far-right politician vowing a crackdown on crime and corruption, has been sworn in as Brazil's new president. Bolsonaro has vowed to challenge the leftist government ruling Venezuela and Cuba while moving closer to ideological allies. U.S. President Donald Trump and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the 63-year-old former paratrooper and deputy for the past 27 years, pledged to uphold the constitution as he embarked on his four-year mandate at the helm of Latin America's biggest economy. Bolsonaro takes power with sky-high approval ratings and high hopes for many of Brazil's 210 million inhabitants that he can stamp out graft, reduce rampant crime and reignite an economy laid low by a record-breaking recession. Now, he has already said he will issue a decree easing gun laws to allow good citizens to own firearms as a way of deterring and countering armed criminals. A Bolsonaro takes over from deeply unpopular center-right president Michel Temer, who was effectively a caretaker figure following the impeachment of leftist leader who was booted from office in 2016 for fiddling the government's books.